I'm joined by my guests on the show at this hour, former Indian cricketer and selector Sarandeep Singh and cricket commentator Prakash Vakankar. Sarandeep, uh, coming to you, what do you think is going to be a winning score for India on this deck? No, even India, even they given the follow on to them, even they can win in this in that score also. They don't need mm -hmm. to bat again, but yes, fine again. Some of the few batsmen who are not in a good form, so they will just say, okay, it's the second day. We have a three more days to win the test match. So let's go. Let's let the bat give the chance, but two batsmen that they can score big runs and get the confidence back. But surprisingly, it won't happen in this wicket again. Mayank Agarwal got out early. We've seen him, so I feel bad for that boy because he's a good player. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the, the way the wicket is playing, it's not easy for the batsmen who are really struggling. So I think the, let's see how India scored. They, they are already in 260, and the Rishabh Pant just got it inside. I see first ball he hit six, right. then again he started his own batting, mm -hmm. and the Virat Kohli is over there. So let's see how Virat will be there because even he needs some few runs on this wicket. So if he scores 50, 60, good, that will be good enough here yeah, for the Indian team and for the Virat also. Prakash, uh, first it was uh, Shreya Shahir yesterday and then Jaspreet Bumrah today. Together they have put India in the winning position. We've been talking yesterday about the wicket being a square turner, but the Sri Lankans didn't fancy Jaspreet Bumrah and Mohamed Shami either on this deck. Well, I think, you know, Riga, to be honest with you, it just shows the gulf in class between the two teams. Mm -hmm. uh, let's put it this way. I dare say that people at the, of the caliber of uh, Bumrah and Shami probably don't need... Uh, undue assistance from the wicket. Some assistance is always helpful. But I think the, the bigger story in this series is the, the sheer gap in skill levels between the two teams. Yes, India is in its own transition through the middle order, but I think the transition uh, in Sri Lankan cricket is much bigger and therefore it is an unequal contest at the moment. And all that Sri Lanka can hope to do, in my opinion, is to be able to put up a semblance of resistance, which unfortunately we haven't seen so far. Sarandip, um, let me ask you, well, there's one thing about, you know, winning the match, of course, get, getting those uh, World Test Championship points. The other thing probably what India will look at is uh, getting runs under their belt. Do you think um, even though, you know, the Sri Lankan bowlers may not be effective, India will try and bat out as long as they can and not declare? That's right. Yeah, that's why they, they didn't give him the fall on. That's why they want to bat. Because after this, if you see the IPL started and then they're going to be playing the test match in like after three or four months' time. So that's why this is the last opportunity. The batsman getting that score as many runs. Even though look, Rohit Sharma is looking strong. Even he needs a few big runs in the, hmm. under his belt. Hmm. Definitely Virat Kohli is there. Mayank Garwal is over there. And the way Shreya Sh is getting runs, we know he's in a form. Hanuman Vihari, even he knows needs the biggest scores because he's now in place of Situation Pujara, so they all have to be scored bigger runs, and that's why they are batting. So I hope they will get some good confidence. The way they are batting in this wicket, Hanuma Vihari is looking actually very good. So let's hope for the best for them when the next test match is coming here. Right, uh, both Hanuma Vihari and Rohit Sharma got out. They had the highest partnership of the match, in fact, 56 runs. Uh, Prakash, uh, coming back to you, uh, you know, the way the Indians have batted in this, in this test match, at least, would you say that when we look at the middle order, you spoke about transition. Um, Shreya Shahir, one player who's impressed with his 92, he should you know, now come up and instead of Hanuma Vihari, he should bat at number three and uh, and then Hanuma should come down the order? Well, I, I don't know about that. I mean, you know, class and form are two things that we always talk about. Mm -hmm. And I think Shreya Sayer is in the, in the form of his life. Let's right. make no mistake about that. Uh, I think Hanuma Vihari has waited long enough for the opportunity and he deserves a longish run to be able to prove to everyone, including himself, that he is the right successor uh, for the great Chideshwar Pujara at number three. I don't think you want to chop and change order so quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, and as Sarandip said, if my memory serves me right, I think the only test we play between after this one's over uh, is, is a long way away. And that's yeah. going to be in the summer in England. And who knows what will happen by then. Uh, so I think the we've got in Shreya Sayer, a man who is in the peak of his form, uh, Virat Kohli would like to spend some time in the middle, I'm sure, get some runs if he can. But a wicket of this nature isn't going to make run-making easy, even for the great Virat Kohli, as we've seen with every batsman, except for Shreyas Iyer. And his comments, Rika, were very interesting uh, yesterday yes. evening, 
He mm-hmm. said, I could have gotten out on any ball. So I decided that I will go and meet the ball rather than let the ball come to me. And that's awesome. the mindset mm-hmm. that the young Indian cricketers have. And I think that is what holds India in good stead against any opposition. Right. Uh, and he said that he didn't want to get out defending. Probably that's the mindset he and Rishabh Pant uh, came out uh, with. Uh, um, well, uh, let me ask you, uh, Sarandeep, you know, India has a lead of now 282 runs. Rohit Sharma uh, scoring 46 runs, not getting to a half century once again. But today we saw him play an uncharacteristic reverse sweep. What did you make of it? Look, this is what what uh, just uh, just said it before that like what Shreya said you can get out on any ball. So that's why Rohit needs to do something different because in the first inning we see the ball is turning on too much and you go for a defense you can get that any time. Hmm. So why not disturb the ball as we play some difficult shots? Even we know Rohit Sharma don't play the reverse sweep. He, get, he he's a good sweeper but he's not the good reverse sweeper. Then the left arm spinner is turning a lot. Then you have to play some different shot and this is what Rohit Sharma is trying to do is. You do something different to get runs because every time you're not looking to get for a good wickets. What we are seeing in what happened in Pakistan, in the, in Australia, what the wickets are they are getting it and what wickets are we are playing in. So you you can get tough conditions. So you have to be tough all the time. You never know when you go to Sri Lanka, you get the same big pitches like this. Hmm. So you have to be score runs on this because you're good enough to play this cricket. You're playing from last 15 years, so you know how to play all these things. And from few years, there's a lot of talks about that India don't play spin well because whenever hmm. you go go abroad. Sometimes more in a listen. Right. Uh, I think uh, Sarandeep is frozen. Prakash, uh, I have just a few minutes for you. Um, you know, I just wanted to ask you about the pitch in Bengaluru. Should the association be pulled up for producing a pitch like this? <laughs> I don't know. It, it's becoming a bit of an unfortunate occurrence in, in international cricket. Uh, we saw the test match uh, in in, uh, uh, in Pakistan, in Rawalpindi. Mm-hmm. Uh, that looked like a highway. Uh, the, the game in Mohali, we talked even before the game began how the grass had been cut. Right. Bangalore's turning square on day one. So I don't know. the first know. ball, not just yes, day one. The first yeah. ball. And, and that's the point. So I don't know whether uh, the idea of home advantage is now being carried to another extreme hmm. and whether there should be. But by the same logic, how can you determine a common standard for uh, test match pitches because end of the day, the soil, the conditions, the curation, everything is different. Yeah, it's so uh, unique. You go to New Zealand, you get a different kind of wicket. Australia has do. a different kind of wicket. And even in but England, I think, so, yeah. I think that the thir- three seconds, I think it's important that a playing surface allows even or reasonably even opportunity for bat and ball right. to be a contest. Right now, I think either the bat is dominating too much or the ball is dominating too much in mm. World Test Match Cricket. Interesting. And, uh, well, India are uh, right now on a lead of 282 runs. Uh, we have just seen uh, one and a half sessions into the day. Sri Lankans were bowled out for 109 runs this morning. Thank you very much, Sarandeep and Prakash, for joining me at this hour.